came down to the battle of the good in the season finale of The Masked Singer. The Masked Creatures vying for the coveted gold mask trophy included the Firefly, the Ringmaster, and the Prince. In the end, the winner was Tiana Taylor, who was behind the Firefly. The Goldberg star Haley Orantia came in second place as the Ringmaster, with Call Me Cat celebrity Cheyenne Jackson earning the bronze as the Prince. And joining us right now, the artist formerly known as the Prince, Emmy and Grammy nominated actor Cheyenne Jackson. Cheyenne, good morning and congrats on making it to the finale. How did it feel? It felt great. First of all, very good intro. I've been saying that to my friends too. <laughs> <laughs> you did incredibly well. You really did. But why did you want to compete in The Masked Singer? Uh, a couple of reasons. I. People really only know me as an actor, unless you've followed my career on Broadway and in my concert world, people know you from TV. So um, I really wanted to, you know, singing has kind of taken a back seat in my life to, to the television and stuff for the last several years. And I just wanted to see what that would be like to uh, be behind a mask, have people not see my face or my body and put any of their preconceived notions on who they think I am and just sing. I thought that would be a really fun experiment. Also, I have five-year-old twins and I thought it would be hilarious for them and um, exciting for them. And I told them what I was doing because they're only in preschool. I mean, who would they tell? <laughs> so um, it was really, really, it was really fun. And, and there was really a sweet moment when you were talking about your five-year-old twins and telling them, you know, being very authentic and candid about how you felt about performing. And you were a little scared, which I was kind of shocked to hear that. But tell us again, tell the viewers who are listening about what one of your teens, one of your um, twins said. Yeah, I mean, I, I was I was nervous about it because it's it, 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 it's the the huge mask, the feet, the fingers. I kept ripping off my frog toes accidentally and breaking things. And, you know, it's a lot to do. And so I had definitely had nerves and it's definitely live singing. So um, my daughter, Willow, um, I was getting ready to leave one night for, I think, the semifinals. And, and she said, wait, daddy. And she ran into a room and she came back and she had this little rock that said courage on it. Mm. And she said, here you go. And so I kept it and I had the costume, my amazing costume department, sew it into my costume just so I could have that. And it was just a great encapsulation as to why I'm even doing this. And um, yeah, so, so, so sweet. Yeah, and it warmed my heart. I think it warmed the viewers' hearts as well. So we all love you on Call Me Con Call Me Cat. Uh, congrats on the show being renewed for a third season. I love watching you on the show. You're funny, but you also sing on the show too. So that was uh, that was shocking for for me to see. Uh, and I I was kind of curious what your passion, where your passion lies. Do you like to be acting? Do you like to sing? I know that your mom said that singing is your thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, music is my first love. I, I, growing up in a teeny little town in Idaho, music was my gateway to freedom and to self-expression and to eventually to New York and to Broadway and to Carnegie Hall and such. So um, music is my first love. When I was cast on Call Me Cat, and yes, thank you. We're very excited about this next season and to really deepen these relationships. Um, there wasn't a musical component really, uh, just a couple little things in the in the piano bar, but they've been really writing that Max is a songwriter now. So mm -hmm. that has been a wonderful surprise and something that I didn't get, I didn't think I'd be able to be able to foster that side of myself on the show. So um, yeah, I, I'm just, what a great thing to be on a, a, a well-written, well-acted, funny show where I also get to sing sometimes. Very like, cool. Come on, this Very is my dream cool. job. Did your co-star, Maya and yeah. like know that it was you as the prince? Yeah, there were only a few people that were allowed to know. So my cast didn't know, um, but Maya knew because she's also my executive producer <laughs> um, and she had to make sure it was okay because they had to they had to work it out schedule-wise. Okay. The funny thing is Leslie Jordan, <laughs> who's on the show, um, was a guest judge on Mass Singer this year. And they purposely didn't put us together, but he came to, he came to set one day and he's like, Cheyenne, you have to do the Mass Singer. They would love you on oh, there. Oh, that was great. I wanted to be like, <laughs> I'm on it right now. 
<laughs> but I couldn't tell him. I told him. I told him yesterday, but he could not believe it. Oh, He's like, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> you sound so just like him. Oh my goodness, I love him too. <laughs> so you were talking about relationships on Call Me okay. Cat. So I, I'm kind of hoping. I'm pretty sure the viewers at home are hoping too. Are we going to see the relationship budding between Max and Cat? You know, I think that they're going to be always in each other's lives, and I think it's. I kind of like it, liken it to like a Cheers situation, a Sam and Diane, where they have been together and throughout their lives they kind of come together. But I don't know if they'll end up together. I, I don't know if that's the best for them, but maybe eventually. Uh, but they both have a lot to figure out in their lives. Um, Cat's life just kind of fell apart at the end of Act mm -hmm. Two, or Act Two, Season Two. So it's going to be interesting to see what the writers come up with. And Maya is so funny and so great at all the physical stuff, but she's also a tremendous, dramatic actress. So I, I'm really loving to see that side of her. I, I just, I love her so much. Yeah, we love her too. And we love the show and we love you on the show. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and congratulations right now on your success on The Masked Singer as well as Call Me Cat. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that.